houses. Section 5 of the Civil Union Act contains no gender. No gender language, no biological marker. But if we go to Section 10, we see that persons entering into an Illinois Civil Union Act have to be male or female, either same sex or opposite, male or female. What if your client doesn't want to check a box? How do we deal with that? Now, Section 5 is to be liberally construed, but I contend, as we, all, as we lawyers all know, that in order to satisfy a statute, in order to satisfy something granting rights, we have to be able to meet the definitions in that statute. 